am actually in Miami. If these type of videos get like 15 to 20,000 likes, I'll keep making them. Literally, I really have fun making these. Uh, enjoy the video. Don't you? Lasted like four months. It was great though. I, I was at the office at 7:30. I had already eaten, brushed my teeth, showered, had my pills. I had water in my system. I was all ready to go at 7:30 sharp in the office working. Now it's 7:15, and I'm all over the place. Like I wake up and I'm just tired, and I don't even eat anymore. I just head to the office straight away. It's not good. I'm trying to like balance and reprogram myself for this year. I'm gonna try to figure that out because <laughs> yeah, that can take a toll on you. So now I like, you know, I finish work later. So I go to bed later and I wake up later and it's my whole schedule is like out of sync. And I blame it on daylight time savings and I blame it on the jet lag and traveling. But I think it's just a lack of discipline on my part. Um, you know taking accountability but yeah that's why last night i finished work late because i woke up later so yeah anyways today we're gonna go look at some offices because i need a new office space my thing is just way too cramped so i can't wait to take a look at this new space let's get it now December 25th, Merry Christmas. I know this vlog is probably coming like late. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you guys. just watching Siobhan's video you know what he's right man he was vlogging at the Christmas market and people were looking at him like weirdly I know we get it it's a camera you're vlogging like in public but you're the one who pays your bills you know you create content you enjoy it you love it and it's true at the end of the day you shouldn't care about what people think you're the one paying the bills and doing what you love sometimes you can get obsessive by doing what you love I mean there's no one in this parking lot I should probably be with family but um I gotta get some work done and really i'm not trying to promote this whole super toxic work environment type of like lifestyle because that's that's just not me but i love doing what i do i really love being here focused on creating content and just scripting and making the videos doing my research testing macbooks and all that stuff i absolutely love doing this thing i can't find my receiver for this mic that is just great um and you guys probably can't see me but i found this on the other husky there you go this is what i was looking for i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah this thing but yeah no i don't know it's december 25th i'm here working um not everything goes uh, according to plan not everything works the way i want it to work last sunday's video which was yesterday didn't perform according to plan um things that happen some people didn't like it totally get it you change formulas you take their opinion and you go you go you go you go you don't stop you keep working hard I guess, uh, yeah, it's important to do something you love because when times get hard, you keep going. Yo, I also keep telling myself, it's December 25th, it's December 25th. Um, Today, I announced the winners for the PlayStation 5. So uh, let me just find a random comment picker and we'll get to choose the winners together, you and I. Finally, just found a random comment picker. Let's pick the first winner. John F707, two PlayStations, that's crazy. I will go crazy if I won. I love the calm video, very relaxing. Thanks for the detailed review. Well, you're about to go crazy for sure, man. 
Yo, I'm actually looking at this guy's profile right now. That's pretty cool. He even put his like contact email and everything. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's pick the second winner. Let's see. Pick the second winner. And the second winner is Rachel Law. Congrats, guys. Makes me super happy to have two winners. So now I'm I gotta go buy these PlayStations actually and ship them out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. It's like a ghost down here. There's absolutely no one. It's crazy. Anyways, I promised I would go home early of a dinner tonight. And then I'm just going to go take care of my cat because I got a new cat. He's very small. Just, just hear this out. catch you guys tomorrow i'm gonna spend some time with family and with toby train this freaking thing uh, in the middle yeah sometimes they put uh, oh yeah 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 tonight. yeah Been a year I've been living here, so last week I decided to show like all the cool tech accessories for a condo that are super worth getting. So today I'm just gonna finish some shots for that and uh, go get the PlayStation 5s. I'm just gonna show you some behind the scenes of like the nonsense we do, but uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Let's let's uh, set this whole camera up. Okay, John. First case of the intro. It's been officially a year since we moved here. Okay. This John is the last case of the intro. I think I like the one with the coffee more. Yeah, looks better. The other one's a bit too much like Chavon. That's like his style. Um, I think I like the one with the coffee more. One well, I never showed you guys, but I got padded. Look at that. Pretty cool. It's been a month. I've been just waiting for it to heal. But let me show you. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna get the rest of my sleeve with time, but I have another appointment in like a few weeks. Yeah. It's pretty cool actually, it looks cool in video. Probably need to grow some more muscles, but uh, it works for now. You guys always ask me about my camera setup. This is it, 24 to 70 G Master 2 and uh, Mark 7.4. That's it, that's all I take my, my pictures with. Pretty, pretty nice setup, minimal, I love it. I 
figured um, while I wait for Best Buy to open, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, someone told me it takes multiple years for someone to become an overnight success. And I, I, and I really thought about that. Like that really struck me because I feel like nowadays, social media, um, you know, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everyone just promotes this like lifestyle and like, you know, working on a beach and making money on a plane and things that just don't make sense. Um, and I wanna, I wanted to sort of address that because I don't wanna be in the same boat as those people. Like, yeah, I show you guys, you know, the condo, the studio, all the tech and everything like that. I feel like I've, not that I've been promoting this sort of luxurious lifestyle or glamorous lifestyle. I just want you guys to know that it took a while for me to get here. Uh, a lot of consistency and just for me this was a side project something fun to do something that would decompress me while i was at school because i hated school so much another thing that i actually hated about myself is that i hated school so much but now that i'm 28 i, I realize how freaking important school was for me at that time because now that i'm sort of running my business i'm like damn I learned a lot of freaking things that translate well into what I do. And it has nothing to do with what I studied. It's more about time management, being consistent, you know, doing things that you don't want to do, but you have to do them. But it took me a really, really, really long time to get to this point way before I started social media, which was in 2018 on Twitter. That was my first social media post. And I was like, you know what? I am going to code every single day and I'm gonna post it on social media and just, you know, document my process. And ever since I did that, I've been posting on social media. I haven't stopped. It's been five years, my math is correct. Um, almost six years, which is, it's pretty dope, right? But none of this came uh, out of thin air. You know, I've, I've been posting every single day, making videos, uh, using the camera to make stories that would disappear 24 hours later. You know, scheduling my days. I had work, I had football, I had school, I had a girlfriend, I was doing this on the side. I had so many things going on for myself. And at the end of the day, you know, you still needed to prioritize school. I think school is really important. And uh, nowadays everyone's just promoting this stupid theory of like you know school is not important and, and i've been in that boat and i regret sort of telling some people not to go to school it's it's not a good mindset i think we need to like step back a bit and just you know school is good for you um but yeah guys things don't grow out of thin air and you can't expect to have things now uh, i feel like our generation just wants things done now 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 and and they want everything done now and you know it takes time it takes time to build businesses and and my business i'm lucky enough that it didn't take that long but i've been doing it for so long prior starting um yeah i just wanted to say that before we get to go to best buy because uh, i gotta get these playstations um it's 12 30 so yeah um we've got a problem there is no way I'm doing that line. Oh my lord. Look at that. All that for Best Buy. Oh my god. No, I'm not doing that line. That is nonsense. I am really not about to do that line. I'm gonna wait 20 minutes and if the line goes down super quick, I'll go in, but holy cow. It doesn't stop. Like people are just parking and parking and going to Best Buy. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. Okay, the line is moving. I'm actually gonna go in. I need two PS5s for you, okay? What's this? You see? Yeah, Just right here? Right here. Oh, okay. I'll see you, bro. Thanks. Everyone is literally waiting for me to leave because I'm in the car and they can't find parking. But we got them. So happy we got these PlayStations. Mission complete.
think I'm gonna have my sister uh, wrap these like as a, as gifts and then I'm just gonna put them back on I'm gonna put them on, on boxes and just send it to them yeah like a you know like a Christmas present I feel like it'll be cool yeah I told myself I would stop eating outside because I need to take care of my diet a bit more. Now I'm gonna go to McDonald's because I really need to get to work. I have to edit the thumbnails, I have to edit the videos, the reels, I have to edit this vlog and then I have to edit the condo tour and like I have so many things to do. And it's 1.40 p.m. and I'm probably gonna work till really late. So yeah, I need some food in my system. Hi, can I get a um, uh, chicken nugget trio, please? I'll Is take. How many? Do you guys still have twenty? Sorry. Twenty. The twenty nuggets, yeah. Yeah, please. I'll take a trio for that. Uh, we don't give the trio for the twenty nuggets. Um. So you know what? I'll take a large fry on the side, and I'll take um, medium iced tea. That's it. Thank you. Right, do you have the quote from McDonald's app to get the fries? Uh, no. Oh, okay, you can go to the second one now. Awesome. Thanks. thanks. Twenty four bucks for that? Whoa! That's wild, man. Twenty four bucks. Hey. Twenty nuggets and large fries, sir. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm gonna check my order because last time I came here, they it up. We're all good. Also, number one rule in my car: you do not eat in my car. Get this food in my stomach. Toby. Toby? Yeah, that's what I named him. Mad original, bro. He's a Tavi? They just have a little bit. Oh, see, I can't all over again, bro. Pat, your Pilates instructor friend. Plan on seeing you for those and everything. Okay. I didn't touch the angle, I just touched the uh, how long you can bring this shit down. The horizontal. The vertical. This. Is your notion slow? No, huh? Yeah, bro. It bugs. I wonder if it's because we have way too many things on it. Part is that this also integrates with Google Home. So for the few days I've had it, it's been. I think I'm gonna head home. Um, I gotta take care of Toby. I'm gonna try to get my sister to come and wrap these PlayStation 5 so I can send them to you guys, both of you who won. Uh, congrats again. Um, yeah, I'll try to get that done on Friday. This is magnificently cramped. There's no denying the fact that it's cramped. Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Boxes here, boxes there, boxes there. There's more boxes there. There's literally boxes like everywhere and like things everywhere. And I'm just like, I need more space. It was a great run. Absolutely insane office in my opinion. Like I absolutely love this space, but I need, I need more space. 
Hey, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you so much. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. I, I'm okay with it. Okay. Uh, I'll just wear it because you're not staying. Obviously, uh, with the online oh. classes, uh, we had to. Oh yeah. I teach now online. Okay, I see. Yeah. So that's why I'm moving because I, I'm teaching online and I'm in this big space. It's really big. Yes. Wow. That's why you're moving to the other one, right? Yes, yeah, because I don't need the, uh, the big, big, big studio. I used to put about maybe 12 to 14 people here comfortably. Wow, so, yeah. this is your office. Mm -hmm. so, and and, this goes and then the that's way. a tiny little storage room there. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just sort of open it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OK. Yes. Yeah. So that's just a storage. Yeah, three, that's one, a, two, that's three, three four storage. windows. Massive space, and there's still more over there. So there's like all this too. Yeah, and that's the massage room. Yes. Yeah. So it's not the storage closer. room, yeah. and then that's the the massage. So room. there's like six windows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can go into the massage. Room. Thank you so much. Yeah. Just to see what it looks like. It's pretty good. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's really quite good, and uh, I had. Uh, you open that floor to put more deep rock. So oh, okay. Oh, see, see. you did noise. that. Yes, sir. I can, oh, I, I can feel that it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the noise is good. So it's a massive spot. There's, the only thing is that I don't know how, how many square footage. Thousand nine hundred. Thousand nine hundred. That's like four times our place, which is great. Now I'm just wondering about the rent. And not only that, but. We have to demolish walls and the floor ceiling. has to be done. The ceiling has to be redone because we want high ceilings. I don't know how long that's going to take. Yeah. So funny as I'm walking back to the office, one of the winners just answered our giveaway email. <laughs> He's probably freaking out. As much as I want to move out of here, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, we're not in a position yet to be able to like buy something that makes sense for us. Especially since I would love to have a studio with a garage space in it. Um, so right now I'm just looking at an office space in the same building where we can just expand. And I feel like that's going to be able to hold us down for like two, three more years. And then we can think about getting something really, really cool. Yeah, just investing in the business, investing in the business. Please just get me the tracking number okay. for like both of them so I can send it to them. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just not quite sure I'm gonna keep up, but we're going to CS on January 7th and then I'm leaving to San Diego on January 12th, I believe, for another event. So it's like event back to back, but I got some goodies from Amazon that I think are super worth getting for those who travel frequently and I'm gonna make a video about them. Um, it'll be cool. That'll be cool.
morning, morning, um, meeting with my accountant today to figure out the business. We're actually restructuring the company um, because it's better for taxes, it's better for the long run. Uh, there's so many good things about restructuring a company in terms of having a holding co, uh, running the business. Uh, this probably bore a lot of you guys. Uh, but I'm just saying there's a lot of things that maybe I don't show because there's too much going on right now. There's too much going on because I'm leaving to Miami tomorrow and then I have to come back. And two days later, I leave for CES and then there's just too much going on right now, man. There's like an overwhelming amount of things I gotta do today. It's 8.18. Uh, the accountant is coming at 9.30. That gives me an hour and, and 10 minutes to verify this week's video, which is the condo tech uh, video. I gotta go see my aunt. Uh, I need to finish assets for next week's video. So this vlog, I need to upload this week's video, make sure all assets are good to go, download all the content for Miami for when, I go, when I'm gone so I can host. I gotta do the metadata and metadata for us means all the description uh, that includes like the links, the tags, title, uh, the timestamps, making sure that the sponsor links work and everything's good to go because the sponsors pay our bills and it's the only way for us to run the company. I gotta take more assets for January for this vlog, like a story swipe up and things like that that go on Instagram. And then thumbnail ready for that. I gotta download thumbnails for it so I can put and post the polls online so you guys can help me out with the polls and the thumbnails. And then I gotta organize for New Year's and then I gotta organize Notion, the calendar and brand collaboration for 2024. And then I wanted to clean the office, but I'm not gonna have time because tonight I have a Christmas party. I'm gonna try my best to get there as late as possible um yeah this is this is the life i love it there's a lot to do stress kicks in sometimes but not really because this is fun yeah <laughs> sort of got no choice because i have a lot to do today and uh, i just need food in my system that's it We're packing. Yeah. But we are in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Y como siempre hace calorcito, pues no tan. Sí. Thank you. You too. Bye. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Yep. today is january 2nd if i haven't said so happy new years i took the last two days off camera just because i wanted to have fun um the 31st was actually really cool we went on a boat massive boat and we went on the canal and then we went to, to see all the houses on the canal like millionaires row and things like that i was like what the hell i've never seen houses that big in my entire life like these houses were ginormous absolutely insane uh the boat is actually owned by one of my friends that helped us put the gt3 exhaust on if you guys haven't watched our g3 video matt is the one that owns the boat and he just invited me because he was down here and i was like bet we'll do that for the 31st then we went to dinner and that was it and today today we're looking to uh 
to rent a car and you guys know me i'm a i'm a bit of an addict so uh i really want to rent a cool car and i've been seeing cool cars everywhere and people having fun driving and i'm like i want to drive so um we have to go to miami also and we have to go places so i was like eh, why not just rent a cool car and go around and just enjoy it and spend money because it's a bit expensive at least it's not as expensive as in montreal but yeah um uh, just gonna go eat before and then we're gonna head to the rental car place these are all the cars i have mm. happy new year nice gts 911 whole F1 car right here. Look at this. Apparently you can rent it. Look at this thing. Holy s***. This is crazy. I guess you can rent this? It's $4,000 a day. Well, do a day. Do I don't know what you do with it. I have no idea. It'd be cool to rent a Lambo, but I don't know. That one's pretty cool. I think a Ferrari would be better. Um, a McLaren would be nice, but they're a bit like Crazy expensive. Oh, not down for that. Nice to Dan, meet you. nice to meet you as well. Um, hi, Dan, nice to meet you. Am I sure? Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Dad, you can rent that? Um, it's a prop, so we can rent it for like, uh, you know, Oh, uh, like, events. can you put it like, okay, I see. Okay. Yeah. It's not drivable. It's not drivable, there's no engine okay. in it. Yeah, yeah. The Ferrari you can't do for 995 a day? Uh, I might be able to. I have to find out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, if you can't do this one, I'll take like, one of us. Yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. He's a Euros Performante. Absolutely wild. The McLaren would be awesome, but oh my god, it's too much. Just trying to bargain to get like a good price, because I don't want to pay too much. Um, but I also want to drive a cool car. Oh man, this sounds so good. So we're getting the Ferrari, um, $12.95 a day, it's, it's a lot cheaper than the Montreal and it's a lot of money but uh, no, whatever man, I, don't know. I like cars, you know, I have an addiction to cars so we'll go for the Ferrari, 48 GTV, looks amazing, so pretty happy. You'll take another one? I have my girlfriend taking the picture for Instagram, the cover picture, whatever, but yeah, pretty happy, super cool. This one's so cool, she's coming out. Sign here on both yeah. axes. If you need anything, just let us know, all right? Be safe and have fun. Thank you. Yeah, so she is beautiful. What a nice car. Any weird like scratches I should look out for that are already no, there? The cars in relatively good condition. Okay. If you want, you can do a walk around just to double check. Okay, perfect. Um, and uh, no problems with this one. Just doing a quick walk around, making sure everything's good. This, this is good. Not too. That's good. You go ahead. Wait, this is red, red, red. Oh my god. It's so comfortable. Yeah. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's it nice. It has a lot more leg room than most of our exotics. Typically yeah. the Lamborghinis and the Spiders are pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. But um, have you driven one before? Not a 48, no. Okay, but Ferrari in general? No, no Ferrari. Never? First Ferrari. Okay, cool. So I'll just give you a quick breakdown on how cool. to function anything. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, all right? Awesome. Um, so key itself is pretty self-explanatory. It's just unlock and lock. Okay. Um, the trunk is in the front, okay? Yeah. So if you guys decide to fit anything in the car at all, it's in the front. Perfect. Um, just so you're aware of that. If you want, I'll hand you the key. You can go ahead and start it up. So push the start right here. You gotta hold it for just one second. So if you click one time on the paddle shifter with your foot on the brake, that P in the middle, becomes is, D. Yeah, it'll show as a one with the auto underneath, all right? Okay. That means the car is in first gear, but you don't have to worry about clicking it again. Okay. It'll automatically shift once right. you start driving off. 
Um, other than that, it's mainly just park that you should be worried about. It's just park, drive, um, and then the reverse button is just like the right. R. You'll get a backup camera as well, I'll give you indicators and sensors, so okay. you'll know that you're in reverse. Okay. Um, That's yeah. Thing. And then other than that, just sometimes the roads in Miami aren't that great. Okay. So just, you know, be wary of like potholes yeah, and stuff yeah, that you could avoid on the Right, end. right. Perfect. That's best. All right. Awesome. Yeah, man, enjoy. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, it feels so much different than the GT3. And then it's a very nice car. The interior is cool. Just uh, it doesn't feel like a GT3. It feels really cool. It's just I feel like it's for a different crowd. I just like the race car feel of the GT3. It doesn't have that feel, but it still feels very sick it's hella fast i feel like it's a lot faster than the gt3 but um again there's not that race car feeling that like takes your soul but it's cool i like it i don't know how dde drives and films at the same time to me it's just insane crazy oh my god it's so hard to not just slam the throttle down here. <laughs> what a douche. It's not that loud. It's not like GT3 loud. Hi. Hey, how are we doing today? Good, and you? How can I help uh, you today? We're gonna be going in and out for the next two days. Okay, okay I can okay. park it there. Yeah, of course. So this will be the ticket to come get it at any time. Okay, beautiful. We're here 24 seven, it's okay. in and out as much as you like, and then they charge it to the room once each night. All right. Perfect. And the keys. You want, yeah. yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. The guy's writing every single little mark, little detail that the car has, you know, like if there's small little scratches or anything like that for the liability. It's cool. I'm actually gonna ask him if uh, I can get that paper for myself. Yeah. Going to the beach. Too cold, man. Way too cold. The car is like absolutely awesome. Not quite sure I would ever buy one. Um, I think I like my Porsches a lot more. They're like simple. They feel like race cars. I don't like the whole like luxury aspect in my opinion. But it is really cool. I'm not saying I would never own a Ferrari. If I had the chance to buy one, I'd probably buy an A12. Other than that, um, I'd love to show you guys to share what it is like to like to, to just ride a Ferrari. Strawberries? No, it's okay, thank you. I do not want them. They're huge. I don't know what they give them in here, but... It's like strawberries on steroids. Thank you so much, sir. So these are the keys. Um, there's not much to figure out. Uh, open, close, uh, lights inside, and then the front. Very cool. Open this damn car. Looks awesome. It's a super good looking car. The spec is fantastic. Uh, the red interior is a bit too much for me, but it looks good. I mean, can't deny that. It looks absolutely amazing. It's a great freaking car. Um, let me show you the inside. Oh, by the way, carbon fiber absolutely everywhere. It kind of like really stresses me all the time. Like, yeah. But anyways, let's open this door for you guys. This is how it opens. Pretty cool interior looks absolutely fantastic again a bit too much for me but it is what it is seats comfortable not like my gt3 at all super easy to get into they're not buckets um as you can see i can just like slide in and and, and that's pretty much it uh, i don't need to suffer or anything like that even she slides in super easily so uh, yeah there's it is no what it is there's no cup hol oh, holder no, there's no. there is a cup holder it is yeah, it, it fits um let me just turn this thing for you guys. Turning this on. Um, foot on the brake. Press it. Let's go. Press it. Let's come on and then a second touch. Hold. There's 
also a little key holder right here behind the water bottle. Just sort of, voila, stays there. Pretty cool. There's one thing I've realized with this car is that, um, so it's a massive Ferrari complaint. The buttons in this car get super sticky. I think the plastic sort of melts and uh, it gets quite annoying. I don't know if you guys can see here, but these buttons are like disgusting. Um, yeah, so that's a massive complaint with all these buttons. So Ferrari, uh, if you're watching this video, I don't know, fix it maybe? And, and this knob too is like, it works, but it's just, yeah. I guess at the end of the day, it is a rental. Like if this is your car, you're paying this much money for a car, you better be careful. Um, other than that, I mean, the car is fantastic. It really drives well. It drives like a luxury exotic car, which is not necessarily my vibe. I really like the GT3 race car rawness of it, but it's a cool car. It's a nice car. And on top of that, it is a convertible. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys too, but the roof liner is Alcantara. Oh, the whole thing is Alcantara, which is super nice. This too, uh, super cool. Uh, there's also leather everywhere leather dashboard the whole thing i don't know if you have to pay extra like you do have to pay extra for a porsche to have the extended leather but uh this one has it you also have all your little you know the rpms and stuff right here uh you also can change those things right there which is awesome really cool miles per hour. that's the top what's miles per hour maximum speed 142 miles per hour that's uh that's crazy yeah yeah that's crazy i don't know if anyone has done that, Is that you think it's that yeah it says the maximum speed that someone has done in this car so it says trip a maximum speed that is that not normal kilometer. but yeah shifters feel absolutely fantastic carbon fiber they they like you hear that that's just great. Oh, cars in auto. Let's let's go back to neutral. To go back to neutral, you actually pull both at the same time. Oh, one more thing. Window in the back goes down. So that's pretty cool. Goes up and down. Um, and let me put it all the way back up and show you the cool part. Everything just goes down. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. You get to live the full Miami douche experience. Two more things I want to say about this car. Uh, this engine won uh, engine of the year, I think like three or four years ago. One, um, the fact that this is a turbo-based engine and it sounds really good stock from factory is one of those reasons. And second, um, the turbo delay is like 0.8 seconds. Like the, that turbo lag is like non-existent. Like you put your foot down and the turbo is right there, which is mind-boggling i don't know how ferrari did that but that's another reason as to why this engine is so popular i'm sure there's other reasons but those are the two major factors as to what makes this car popular and it wasn't a failure because going from a v10 to a v8 twin turbo you know it's not the greatest of things but ferrari really nailed it with this car um yeah i think we're ready Got 
returning the car today I had a blast um, it's crazy expensive like I wouldn't do it again it was a really nice experience I think look I think when you make a good amount of money if you can buy yourself experiences that's totally awesome um, I recommend you do that like if you like cars if you like other stuff that can be relatively expensive do it you know maybe allocate a certain amount of money within that year to do your crazy stuff uh, obviously, I suggest you save your money uh, as much as you can and just, you know, invest it or, you know, do whatever you think is right, but don't mismanage your money. Don't, don't just go out there and spend it. Like, I don't want, I don't want you guys to think that, like, because we make a good amount of money that I just spend it wildly. Not at all. Actually, when I'm coming back, uh, when I come back tomorrow, I'm putting a good amount of money on the mortgage again can put up to 20% every year, so that's what I'm doing. Um, it's my piggy bank, it's my uh, safe zone. I feel like it's less of a headache for me if I try to pay my mortgage as fast as I can. Um, but yeah, just enjoy life. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I leave tomorrow, so I'm gonna enjoy my day now, and I'm gonna return the car and just go back home because I leave for CS on Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive vlog. I know it's a massive video. I really liked fun, had fun making it. I didn't plan any of it, so uh, yeah, it was just taking you guys with me and live experiences that I can live because I guess I'm lucky enough to live them. Uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Take care. No more Ferrari. That was really, really fun though. I'm happy with it. <laughs>